good morning students in this module we will learn how to locate a place on a map using four figure grid reference let us begin so i have made certain grids which will help you to understand how to locate a place on a topographical map if we see this map you will find red lines that criss cross each other they form a grid system each square is a grid and as we had seen the scale of the map it is 2 cm is to 1 km so each square in the topographical sheet is 2 cm by 2 cm on the map and 1 km by 1 km on the ground so the area of each grid is 1 square km on the ground let us proceed now we will see how to locate a place using four figure grid reference here i have drawn certain uh, lines uh, that is the grids showing eastings and northings this pattern has been drawn to make you learn about how to calculate four figure grid reference let us start this is point or place a suppose we have to calculate the four figure grid reference so as the uh, word says four figure so there are four figures so the first two figures will be the eastings so let us see the eastings of point or place a we will find that point a or place a is between 64 and 65 eastings are 64 and 65 and between uh, that lies point a so we will take up the lesser value so the lower value is 64 so we have got the eastings so for place a eastings is it is between 64 and 65 and i told you we take the lesser value lesser value is 64 so this will be 64 so here we have got the eastings now the next two values the first two figures we have got the next two figures we have to find out so we will see the northings so in the northings if we see of place a it is between 13 and 14 place a or point a is between northings 13 and 14 so what did i tell you we'll take up the lesser value so which one is lesser 13 so here the northings will be 1 3 so we the first two figure we took the eastings and the second two figures we took the northings so this is how we find out the four figure grid reference of a, a place now students uh, i told you earlier that four figure will tell you the box or the grid where the place lies but it will not give you a very precise location for this we need to learn about the six figure grid reference and we will learn that in the next module let us find out the four figure grid references of the other places too come to point b so if we have to see the eastings the eastings are 61 and 62 so point b lies between 61 and 62 so we'll take up the lesser value 61 so 6 and 1 we got the eastings the first two figures now the second two the last two figures we'll take up the northings so point b is between 12 and 13 so which value the lesser value so we'll take up 12 so point b lies be, uh, in between 12 northing 12 and 13 so we take up northing as 12 so what is the four figure grid reference of station b it is 6 1 and 1 2 this is the coordinate where the two lines meet we call it the coordinate now let's proceed to the third station or the place or a point so for point c the eastings are between it lies between 62 and 63 so we'll take up the lesser value that is 62 
and let us see the null things it is between 10 and 11 so we'll take up the lesser value that is 10 so we got the four figure with reference for station c now let's proceed to station d here the e strings are 61 and 62 d lies between 61 and 62 take up the lesser value 61 and now we'll find out the northings it is between 14 and 15 so the lesser value is 14 so we got the four figure red reference of station d let's proceed to station e or point e so point e lies between 64 and 65 so we'll take up the lesser value 64 and we will now find out the northings and the northings are 9 and 10. So between 9 and 10 the lesser value is 9. So it will be 9. So the four figure drift difference for station E or point E is 6409. So this is how we calculate the four figure grid reference to find out or locate a place on a topographical map.